the Deccan style of art developed in the region of Ahmednagar, Bijapur, Golconda, Hyderabad and Tanjore. The artists who were responsible for the development of art in this region were painters who migrated and sought patronage here during the period of Aurangzeb. The influence of Mughal style of painting was quite evident on the already existing early styles of Deccan paintings. Although no pre-Mughal paintings from Deccan school are so far known to exist, yet it can safely be presumed that sophisticated schools of painting flourished there, making a significant contribution to the development of Mughal style in North India. Early centers of painting in the Deccan during the 16th and 17th century were Ahmednagar, Bijapur and Golconda. Painting which originated under Deccan rulers are marked by refined elegance and sensitive use of colors and beautiful decorative details. Besides the elements which appear to be Hindu origin, Iranian, Turkish and even European influence of roundness and depth are found. So friends, this was uh, the basic introduction of Deccan school. Now we will be discussing the different schools I told you in little detail. So friends, the first school we will discuss in little detail is Ahmednagar. The earliest manuscript paintings in the Persian style epic tarif e Hussain Shahi which is in poetic style written in praise of Ahmad Nagar ruler Hussain Nizam Shah I and his queen. The manuscript was commissioned by his mother or widow who served as a regent. is preserved in the Bharat Itihas Samshodhka Mandal, Puna. One of the illustrations depicts the king sitting on a throne and attended by a number of women. The female in the painting belongs to the northern tradition of Malwa. In the indigenous costume, the choli and the long pigtails and ending in tassel are the style of northern dressing. But the long scarf passing round the body is in the way of southern costume. The colors used in the painting being rich and brilliant are different from those used in northern painting. The Persian influence can be seen in landscape, high horizon and golden sky. The paintings in the tarif e Hussain Shahi complements the text and flatters the feminine characters with the elongated faces, oversized jewelry, tall and slender figures. Some other fine examples of the Ahmednagar paintings are Hindola Raga of about 1590 AD and portraits of Burhan Nizam Shah II of Ahmednagar and Malik Kambar of 1605 AD existing in National Museum, New Delhi and other museums. So friends, next school is Bijapur. In Bijapur, painting was patronized by Ali Adil Shah I and his successor Ibrahim Shah II, an encyclopedia known as the Najum Ul Ulum means the stars of sciences preserved in the Chester Betty Library, Dublin was illustrated in 1517 AD in the reign of Ali Adil Shah I. These manuscript paintings are considered as yardstick of Indo-Persian paintings and refined Deccani style of painting. This manuscript contains 876 paintings of which 140 are ornamental designs and the rest are of birds, animals and human figures miniatures. The ladies appearing in illustrations are tall and slender and are wearing South Indian dress. One of the miniatures illustrated here shows the throne of prosperity. There is also influence of a Lipakshi mural paintings on the female depiction with elongated sharp features and use of rich color scheme. Depiction of animals, men and women all belong to the Deccan tradition. The profuse use of golden color, trees and circular masses filled with leaves, decorative patterns, stylized plants, architecture with symmetrical domes and several designs on the top of the throne are derived from Persian tradition. 
सो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट स्कूल इज गोलकोंडा आफ्टर द फॉल ऑफ विजयनगर किंगडम इन 1558 एडी फिफ्टीन एडी पेंटर्स एंड क्राफ्ट मैन स्टार्टेड कमिंग टू गोलकोंडा द अर्लीस्ट पेंटिंग आइडेंटिफाइड एज गोलकोंडा आर अ ग्रुप ऑफ फाइव फैसिनेटिंग पेंटिंग ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड नाइन्टी एडी इन द ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम लंडन पेंटेड इन द पीरियड ऑफ मोहम्मद कुली कुतुब शाह ऑफ गोलकोंडा वन ऑफ द मिनी एच एस इलास्ट्रेटेड हैज शोन अ किंग इन हिज कोर्ट वॉचिंग अ डांस परफॉर्मेंस ही इज वेरिंग अ व्हाइट मसलिन क्लोथ विद एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड वर्टिकल बैंड अ टिपिकल कॉस्ट्यूम एसोसिएटेड विद द गोलकोंडा कोर्ट गोल्डन कलर हैज बीन लेविशली यूज इन पेंटिंग द कॉस्ट्यूम एंड द ज्वेलरी एटसेट्रा अदर आउटस्टैंडिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गोलकोंडा पेंटिंग आर लेडी विद माइना बर्ड एड इन अराउंड सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड फाइव एडी इन द चेस्टर बैटी लाइब्रेरी डब्लिन द पेंटिंग शोज अ गोल्डन बैकग्राउंड विच इज करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ डेकनी पेंटिंग एन इलास्ट्रेटेड मेनुस्क्रिप्ट ऑफ सूफी पोएम इज इन ब्रिटिश लाइब्रेरी लंडन एंड अ कपल ऑफ पोर्ट्रेट डिपिक्टिंग अ पोएट इन अ गार्डन एंड एन एलिगेंटली ड्रेस्ड यंग मैन सीटेड ऑन अ गोल्डन स्टूल एंड रीडिंग अ बुक बोथ साइंड बाय आर्टिस्ट मोहम्मद अली इज इन म्यूजियम ऑफ फाइन आर्ट्स बोस्टन so the next school we are going to study is hyderabad paintings in hyderabad started with the foundation of asaf jahi dynasty by mir kamar uddin khan siddiqui friends he is also known by his title chin kulich khan it was awarded by aurangzeb nizam ul mulk it was awarded by farkusiyat in 1713 and asaf jah it was awarded by mohammad shah in 1725 so these are the various titles which were awarded to him by mughal kings so this time uh, various styles of paintings developed over there it was mainly because when mughal painters migrated to these areas during the period of aurangzeb and sought patronage there a miniature showing a princess in the company of maids in a garden in the collection of national museum is a typical example of hyderabad school of painting the princess is reclining on a beautifully decorated terrace covered with a canopy typical characteristics of hyderabad painting like the flower beds rich colors the deccani facial types and costumes can be observed in the miniature it belongs to the third quarter of the 18th century so the last school in the row of uh, deccan schools of paintings is tanjore tanjore art flourished at tanjore in south india during the late 18th and 19th centuries and the style of painting was characterized by bold drawing techniques of shading and the use of pure and brilliant colors A typical example of the Tanjore painting in the collection of National Museum is illustrated on a wooden panel in the early 19th century showing the coronation of Rama. The scene is led under the elaborately decorated arches. Rama and Sita are seated on the throne attended by his brothers and a lady. In the left and right panels are seen courtesans and princes. In the foreground are Hanuman Sugriva who are being honored and two other vanaras opening gifts the style is decorative and is marked by the use of bold and bright colors and rich ornamental details the conical crown appearing in the miniature is typical feature of the Tanjore painting so friends these were the Deccan schools of paintings now you are watching simple table with the little tips with what you can learn all the deccan schools in short so thanks for watching